notice trainers are throwing up bits of food in the air. Uh, Harris hawks are not like fel peregrine falcons that hunt in the s on the wing or grab prey out of the air. But we like to do that to demonstrate to you. If you visit Tucson, Arizona, don't miss its number one tourist attraction, the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum, located just 12 miles to the west. You'll notice massive amounts of yellow in Baja, California, and other parts of Mexico right up to the border and beyond into Arizona and California. The yellow denotes the massive Sonoran Desert, renowned for its saguaro cactus. Welcome to the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum, open every day of the year. We are a world-class zoo, botanical garden, and natural history museum, all in one. So I'd like to start with the Desert Loop Trail because that will bring you to the Javelinas and the Raptors, two very popular attractions. But first, the minor problem. The sun is so bright, I can't take it. Okay, let's go home. No. Your viewing travels with Lobo and Barbara, Arizona vlog number eight. Here we are on the Desert Loop Trail and everything seems to be all right. Joining a few other people, as you can see, you're not by yourself. Along the way, you're introduced to God's dog and that, of course, is the coyote. It's so common in the West. And there in the desert among the saguaros is a coyote, guess what, asleep in the sun. Imagine in that heat to be wearing a fur coat and sleep so peacefully, incredible. And uh, here you can learn about roasting agaves, that beautiful plant right here. But agaves aside, at the same time your gaze goes to the horizon, looking at this wonderful desert scenery in the blue sky. The excitement mounts along the trail as you read this sign, Javi, hide and seek. You hear them, then you smell them, and then maybe you see them. That could only apply to the javelina. And this is what they look like, and you'd be tempted to call them a wild pig. But hold it, they're not pigs. Javelinas are a type of picari. They share a common ancestor with pigs and hogs, but it's a very distant connection. Pigs and hogs are old world creatures. Picaris evolved in the new world. There you have it. They're not pigs. As you continue the beautiful walk along the desert loop, you eventually get to the raptor free flight exhibit. That's the number one attraction. So here we are, kind of uh, joining in the crowd. Not really sure whether we're at the right spot, but we seem to be. Oh, this is what? This is where the raptors fly by. All right. Yeah, Great. right here. What are raptors? Oh, uh, birds of prey. Birds of prey. Is that... Got that. Thank you. We waited quite a long time. Uh, the scenery was okay. Uh, but the raptor's free flight, the most extraordinary birds of prey exhibition in the United States, only takes place at 10 in the morning and 2 in the afternoon. Okay. Hello. So I'm going to take the chain down. You're going to take your spot on the road. We're not going anywhere else, so there's no need to run to get to the front of the line. Not like the Black Friday sale or anything. Oh my okay. gosh. And, and don't run me over because you need me for yeah, this to sure take do. place. So okay. right. The crowds kept growing and somehow Barbara and I got separated, but... I was convinced I had a very good spot, and it turned out I did. I was very close to the birds, as you'll see shortly. Now you notice trainers are throwing up bits of food in the air. Uh, Harris hawks are not like fel peregrine falcons that hunt in the s on the wing or grab prey out of the air. But we like to do that to demonstrate to you how agile these males are. And uh, <laughs> they like to go up vertical in their space because it announces to all the other raptors in the area that this place belongs to them. Uh, it's also, when you think about Harris hawks, they are a, a family and there's typically just one female in the group. Now, that female will be the dominant bird in the family and she'll be significantly larger about 30 percent larger than the male so she's going to weigh right around two and a half pounds perhaps males are going to be smaller about one and one to one and a half pounds remember i said to never reach up and try to touch them if you want that close ready. About the experience coming in oh it's not that big over there uh, but now these gray hawks as i said they're a recent newcomer to this type of habitat uh, of their wings they have this chestnut 
color on the top. You got a good view there on Amanda's glove. And that is unique for every bird. So it's like a fingerprint. So they recognize her when she flies in. They allow her to stay with the family, maybe another year. Uh, but I want you to notice that she has very short round wings but a really long tail. And that is because she lives in those riparian habitats. Lots of tall vegetation, unlike here where the vegetation is a little shorter. So she needs to be able to course her way through that vegetation. Notice when they're on the perch. Again, we have a little bit of uh, showing who's boss there, who's higher up on the, uh, the, the, la the social structure in the family. What they do is they send that lower ranking bird probably on the ground. That bird then charges in and pushes that rabbit right out. So that rabbit sees that hare's hawk. You'll see they have talons, very long legs. Let's remember that we're part of nature. Let's go outside and enjoy Thanks, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day at the Desert Museum. Join us next Friday for more of our Arizona adventure. Here, which means we get on annual about 12 inches of rain. That's a pretty wet desert. Because of that rain, you can see we have a lot of vegetation. Well, about half of those plants have thorns on them. So if you are a rabbit or a bird or a lizard, some type of prey item for a raptor, you can probably live to see many days if you hide out 